Hey, what is up, folks? Zero Fats here coming at you on behalf of AdventuresOnTheRiver.com. Wanted to make a special uh, little video here. One of my subscribers, one of my viewers was, you know, uh, telling me they, they, they've fallen on pretty hard times. Uh, you know, uh, they just lost their job. They're trying to they're trying to get this uh, this ebook publishing thing together, and uh, they're having trouble submitting. You know, uh, through KD Publishing Pro, and I wanted to uh, kind of do a quick uh, video capture video to show them got to show that guy how to do that. Uh, the first thing I wanted to do first of all, and this goes out to anybody who's fallen on some hard times and they're having some money problems, like right now money problems I want to show you something real direct uh, before I get into this KD Publishing Pro thing I wanna this is Craigslist oh, you guys are all familiar with Craigslist um, now I hail from Ohio so I'm gonna go to the Columbus area in Ohio if you go to Craigslist and you go down here to the gigs section I want you to look in the labor section here and you'll find all kinds of people who need um, oh by the way I'm sorry about my voice you guys uh, I've been sick so my voice is kind of like shot right now. But uh, anyways, uh, you can look in the labor gig section. You'll find all kinds of people who need help doing stuff. And they'll just pay you cash to, to help them. Look, this guy needs snow helpers. Snow helpers, you know. 20 people for snow removal labor. You know, compensation, 10 to $15 an hour. You know, you put in a hard day's work, you know, you'll make, you'll make 60, 80 bucks on that, you know. Uh, you know, so if you need money like right now, don't forget about Craigslist, okay? Because this is one way you can make quick money um, like today. So anyway, keep that in mind. Uh, but now let's get into this other thing. Um, KD Publishing Pro. Um, let's pull up um, KD Publishing Pro real quick. Now, one of the things... Uh, my guy here was telling me is uh hey I can't get my uh my I can't submit my ebook I got to say it won't do anything when I try to submit it um let me show you real quick um let's do a new project here I'm gonna create okay you know let's put this on on my desktop here you know my new book all right title test copy we're just gonna test 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 right I'll add a chapter here real quick ah man I love this KD Publishing Pro man it's made me a lot of money cause it's a good program uh, we're just gonna go we're just gonna make some words you know that doesn't need to be anything you know mm. chapter one save alright so now we got a, 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 a book basically right here okay let's save this okay there's our book now look um, first of all I want to show you something um, you see this path right here that's your book right there okay it's sitting right on my desktop now I don't got my icons of where everybody can see all my icons because I feel like it kind of clouds my desktop but uh, understand just understand that there's my book sitting right there on the desktop my new book dot doc that's my book and it's just a word document but it's formatted for Kindle okay that's fine just keep that in mind alright why can't I submit it why can't I submit it why can't I do that your Kindle counsels is empty right here's what you want to do if you want to submit something through Kindle Publishing Pro, you have to go to Tools. You have to add your account, right? You have to add your Kindle Publishing Pro account. No, not Ki your KDP. Okay, your KDP account you have to add. You know what I'm saying? Not, not like Kindle Publishing Pro, but your actual Kindle account on Amazon. You have to add the email. It's going to ask you for the email and the user the password the email and the password this is how you log on when you're getting into your KDP account on Amazon that's the information at once you have to add your KDP account okay and once you once you add that alright then then you're good to go then you can add uh, <coughs> then you can add books okay then you can add books on here let's see
Now you're in. Now you can add. All right, and then you're gonna get this screen right here. All right now, if you go to the website for KD Publishing Pro, like they got video tutorials that'll explain this stuff to you. By the way, they might even do a better job of explaining it than me. But there, it's asking for your book location. And you're, you know, it's in the desktop, man. All right, there's my new book right there. My new book. We'll add it right there. And then you just, you know, you go through your information right here. Okay. Let me cancel all this out. Alright. Now, look. Here's what I want you to understand. Once you've created your book, and you got it set in, in that document form on your desktop, you've already saved it. It's set in right there on your desktop in a, in a, D, in a .doc form. Okay. Here's KDP Select. This is KDP Select. Alright. This is my this is my KDP Amazon account right here. All right, you can add a new title, KD Publishing Pro, to submit the book. If it's too confusing for you, if you don't want to mess with that, you can just go right to Amazon, right to your direct publishing account. You got your book setting on the desktop right now, okay? The book that you just created in KD Publishing Pro, it's setting right there on your desktop. It's formatted perfectly. You got a table table of contents. Everything's perfect, okay? Now all you do is you enter the book name. Just enter all your information right here. Publisher, description, okay. Enter a nice little description explaining your book. Yeah, that's important, you guys. This is gonna help. Uh, this is gonna help people find your book uh, when they're searching for stuff. You know, like whatever they might need help on. That's gonna help them find your book. Description, book contributors. This is where you you put in your uh, either your uh, aliases, your pseudonyms, your uh, you know your your name, whatever. Uh, publishing date, you know, ISBN is optional. This is either a public domain work or this is not a public domain work, you know. Categories, seven keywords, right? And this is the thing I was telling you about uh, the guy who was asking me questions about the cover. Here's the cover creator I was telling you about on, on Kindle, you know, cover creator right here, pretty cool. Um, if you look in here, you go to cover creator and I mean you know you know we'll just uh... we'll do an image gallery right look at all these pictures you get right here on kindle you can just use all this stuff man let's go to backgrounds I, I mean personally I like um, I like simple stuff for covers I mean that's just me you gotta do what works for you and more importantly, you got to do what works for your customers. What, what sells more? <laughs> you, get, you get one type of cover that sells better than others and use that. Use this image. You know what I mean? Look at this, man. I mean, this is sweet. And this is just like... You know. I mean, this is just, you know, free cover creator, you know? You come in here and... My test book. Yep, you can change this to whatever you want, man. They got several options here. You know, nothing, nothing too fancy. It's just one way you can approach it. You know what I mean? Here's where you might put your author, you know, uh, tester one, uh, all right, let's so preview that sucker. Sorry, you guys hear me chewing on a cough drop, <laughs> sorry, um, but there you go, there is basically a real easy way to, uh, Real easy way to get your book cover together, okay? Very simple, right there in Kindle. Um, so, anyways, that's basically you know once you got your your book in that in that document form, 
you know, you don't have to use Kindle Publishing Pro to submit it if you don't want to. Uh, that whole submit thing is there to make it easy for you just to submit right from Kindle Publishing Pro. So you don't have to make it a two-step thing. You can just do it all from that program. But listen, don't let it confuse you. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. You know, for me, the main thing about KD Publishing Pro is is the fact that it formats my books for me and makes them look good. Now, once I got the books formatted and they look good, I'm happy. As long as I got my document right there, I can go to this program right here and I can submit it myself. Um, here's where you you book content file. Here's where you submit. You know, go to your desktop. Wow. Well, I, got, I got a ton of crap on there right now. But anyways, whatever. You guys know what I'm saying. You get that test document, you get that you get that book and you uh you submit it, man. And um this this video is kind of catered to one or two people who are asking me about it. Um uh, but maybe there's other people out there who weren't sure about it either. So I hope this video has been helpful to you guys. And all you guys out there on hard times, man, I wish you the best of luck. Um my website, adventuresontheriver.com, can definitely help you make independent dollars. But if you need money right now, you know, I suggest, you know, you check out Craigslist and you, and you work on some of them labor gigs, or uh, you work on flipping some of that stuff on Craigslist because I can get you money pretty quick. Uh, but the labor gigs are like, you know, right now, like today or tomorrow, can get you money. Uh, and then, you know, once you get a little bit of capital and you got that working. Then I would I would definitely check out my website and I would uh, I would work on some of that stuff because you can earn good money off of that. Uh, but there's a difference between like um, you know investing in money that you're gonna get in three four weeks and investing in money you're gonna get today. Because you gotta figure when you're selling books on Amazon you're not gonna get that money right now. If you make a sale today you're gonna get that money in like two weeks. You're not gonna get it right now. Um, so that's kind of the nature of the internet, you know. The money, the money is uh, it's always kind of in a, in a funnel for you. But um, you know, that's that's just kind of the way it works. Uh, so you gotta kind of approach it like with a two-headed approach, you know. Especially when you're broke, you gotta work on something to get you by for now, and then you gotta work on this other stuff to make your future better. Um, you know, another thing, you know, that you might think about is, uh, you know, one of these low-end jobs out here, man, like at some of these department stores, they'll hire, they'll just hire anybody really quick, you know, for like seasonal help, part-time help, fast food restaurants, you know, usually it's not too hard to get picked up by one of these places, um, it's something to think about, you know, two or three days a week, you know, make, make a little bit of money in your pocket, help pay the bills, um, but while you're doing that, remember, Put back 10% of everything you're earning and invest in things. Invest in things you think might help you make more money, like my website. My website is an educational tool. It's going to teach you how to make money on your own. Um, it will help you. Uh, invest in things like that. My website's a great deal. It's like 10 bucks for for good, lifetime membership. Uh, this program that we're, we've been talking about, KD Publishing Pro, this is a great investment. This is going to help you make ebooks. Um, but you got to invest in right now also. So anyways, hope that helps you guys not to, not to preach at you, not to be on a soapbox, but you know, I'll worry about people. I don't want anybody out there struggling. So anyway, I wish the best to all you guys. Good luck. And, uh, I'll catch up with you next video. Peace.